before we get to, to the vote that just occurred today, yes. what was just your initial reaction to the Flames saying that negotiations are over and they're that far apart? Off, off? Well, I was certainly a little bit surprised uh, because we have been at the table. We didn't get any advance warning of this. I noticed that Mr. King said he had spoken with the mayor and the mayor said it was off. And then under questioning, he said, no, no, I didn't speak with the mayor. I spoke with the mayor's chief of staff who said, everything's off. Uh, and in fact, what happened was he called the mayor's chief of staff and said, are you going to accept our proposal? Uh, to which uh, the reply was, well, council has put another proposal on the table and we're at the table and let's keep talking. How he, can, how he turned that into the city has walked away, I'm not quite sure. Uh, you might have misheard. So July 31, what was on the table that has changed? Mm, you're tough with me on dates, um, but I can tell you that the city has a very fair offer on the table. I think one that many Calgarians will see, most Calgarians will see, is eminently reasonable. Uh, and there is another offer on the table that most Calgarians will see is eminently unreasonable. And I will have the opportunity to share some details of those thanks to the vote that was just taken in the upcoming days. But for the, the Globe has reported that it's the city was willing to pay one third, then refundable tickets are charged, and the flames will pay the rest. Is can you say if that sounds accurate about the deal? It is part of the deal. Uh, it is important, I think, to see all of the details, which is why I asked council today to allow me to reveal some more of those details. I want to be clear about something. The city has always negotiated in very good faith. And we remain at the table, we remain ready to negotiate in good faith. Council understands the importance of the flames to the city. Council understands the importance of having the flames downtown uh, to the city. We worked very hard to come up with a deal that makes sense in this economy without impacting people's taxes, uh, that nonetheless uh, participates in both the risk and the upside of this. Uh, a you know much more participation, say, than we've seen in Seattle or Las Vegas, than was too recent for arena deals. Uh, but I think it's important to understand the full context of that. And again, we remain at the table. We remain at the table. You know, one of the things uh, that we were asked to do by the Flames was really articulate a broader vision for Victoria Park. Well, I did that this week uh, in terms of how the arena can make sense uh, with the entire thing. And we'll continue to have these conversations. And as I say, in the upcoming days, uh, I will have the opportunity to share with the public for their feedback what the city wanted to initially share for their feedback, you, um, and that is, that is the proposal. So so you, you last question and we have to go. You released the numbers and you voted on it, it's passed. Why isn't the information coming out right now? Well, because we literally voted on it 30 seconds ago, and so I really want the opportunity to actually package that up uh, so that people can see it. So we will, we will. We'll have the opportunity to do so that. You will tell us now what the total public cost would be for the city's proposal. No, I, can, I can tell you that what has been reported uh, the one third, one third, one third deal is the basis, but there's a lot more to it than that. Thanks, everybody. We do need to get going. There'll be more later. Uh, I'll answer Helen's question then. We'll go. Can you say it again? Can you reflect on what the timing of this when you release this vision and then this comes up? Like you, you know, I heard on the radio this morning Mr. King saying, How could this have anything to do whatsoever with the fact that there's an election coming or with the fact that there was a deal for a fully private finance arena uh, in Seattle? And that was nothing.